Satnam. So find a comfortable seat, either using a pillow like I do or roll up your yoga mat. You can sit on a chair or on the edge of the bed. However, make sure that your spine is nice and elongated and preferable the hips align with your sitting bones or like in my case, slightly drawing downward. And then you can just take the right heel toward your groin and then place the left heel in front and begin to check in. So that's, that is uh, always the way to begin your practice. Just check in, connect to your breath. And begin to notice tight places. Unevenness. And just wiggle yourself in a way. And then take your arms out to the sides. Inhale them up. Touch your palms, sorry, you can see this here, and then guide them down through the sixth chakra, fifth chakra, onto Anahata. Make sure your palms are lightly touching, thumbs are lightly touching toward the sternum, shoulders are relaxed, and the forearms are parallel. I will tune us in with the Adi Mantra and the Mangarachari Mantra, Mantra for protection. So just close your eyes, lock them in toward the pineal gland, your third eye area, just in between your eyebrows. Deepen your breath in and out through the nose, sip your lips. Inhale deeply, hold your breath and then pull up on your pelvic floor muscles, Mulad Band and Uddiyana Band, so pull in on your belly bottom, hold your breath and then lightly tuck your chin and begin to exhale through the nose. And blink the eyes open. Okay, just relax the posture here. Change, if necessary, the seat. It might be not. And then I will put on my timer. And we will begin with a long deep breathing. So you can just take your hands already on your stomach on your abdominal area to feel really, to, to monitor yourself and sit straight, roll the shoulders back, open through the heart center and the arc line and then roll the eyes up. Gently tuck your chin, chalada band and begin to inhale through the nose and guiding the breath up 
And as you arrive, exhale through the nose. Feel how the um, belly button draws inward. And keep on breathing, just a few more breaths. And then blink your eyes open. And you might feel already there is an energetic uh, change happen in your body. We continue keeping the eyes locked into the third eye area, but rolling the tongue. And we continue with long deep breathing, guiding that breath through your tongue. Sitali Pranayama. The eyes can be closed or just half open, peeking at the tip of your nose. Keep on breathing feeling the changes you make, you might feel, you might experience a little bit of dizziness, that's perfectly fine. And breathe out full and complete. your eyes open and we're gonna place the hands again just lightly with the thumbs on the tip of your ribcage and here we will have a forceful exhalation and lightly inhale through the nose you lock your eyes up or if you need to look at my hands just keep the eyes open for now so exhale When you get the rhythm, tuck your chin, lock your eyes and begin to breathe. So this is a very gentle introduction to the breath of fire, forceful exhalation, belly bottom, draws back, Uddiyana Bandha and Mula Bandha drawing up and back and then hold it here, squeeze, 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 one, two, three, four, five and exhale. And then let go and we're gonna add a little aura cleanser so remember depending on your state depending on what you did the day before the night before your breath might really um, be limited and that's perfectly fine so if this is the case just focus on a long deep stretch breath same for the sitali and same for the ribcage breath. So when we practice the pulling in whilst breathing out, you can just hold it there and inhale gently and then come back. So let's begin with the aura cleanser. Take the arms 60 degrees up and we are just breathing with the breath of fire, the same pattern as we did, just speeding up a little bit here. So roll your eyes up and in. Be very relaxed in your facial muscles. You can roll the tongue gently up 
and relax through the eyes, take the eyes up. Now hold the arms up, touch your fingertips, inhale, hold, squeeze Mulat Bandha and squeeze the belly button in, Uddiyana Band, five, four, three, two, one, and exhale, sweeping through the electromagnetic field and just integrate here for a few seconds. Mind your posture. And see where you're at now. We're going to continue now with the Nadi Shodhana Pranayama. So we take an easy way, so it's easy for you to Follow me, just maybe just take the two fingers or one finger, depending on what's comfortable for you. And that is a perfect way also to do a little bit of a drainage here. So every time we uh, touch gently below the hot cartilage, we helping the um, facial drainage. So you begin with a full exhalation on your left side, whilst closing the right gently. And then inhale through your left. And then close both nostrils. Exhale through your right. Inhale through your right. Close both nostrils. Exhale through your left. Inhale through the left, tuck your chin very slightly and close both nostrils, exhale through your right, inhale through the right, touch both nostrils close, exhale through the left, inhale through left, Close, exhale right, inhale right, close, exhale left, inhale left, close both nostrils and exhale right, inhale right, close, Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Close both. Exhale. Inhale, right. And close. And exhale, left. Keep your posture upright. Last time, inhale, left. Stretch is high up and now let's retain the breath a little longer. And gently exhale through your left, to your right, sorry. Last time inhale through the right. Hold, find that space. And then exhale long. And then just keep your eyes closed and then take thumb and index finger into Giyan Mudra and relax your palms down to your knees. And I will time us for a silent meditation for three minutes. So just sit here and connect to your breath.
relax your toe, relax the space between your eyebrows. Roll your shoulders up and back, open through the fourth chakra, the Anahata chakra. Be very relaxed yet alert. And don't force your breathing, just connect to your breath. Lock the eyes in, roll the eyes up and allow the space in between your eyebrows to happen. Letting go of any tension. Relax the teeth and the lips. And if this is difficult, you always can lightly allow the eyes to let some light in. Don't collapse in your upper body and if you start to hang on to thoughts, let's introduce the mantra again, Satnam. So pull your attention to the inhalation as you mentally subside, Sat, and on your exhalation, Nam, Satnam, inhale. Oh, if you're not ready for the mantra, just say to yourself, inhale, pause, exhale, pause. Keeping the mind focused. Thank you, eyes open. And relax the posture here. So you can remove the prop and we're gonna come and sit in a very comfortable. So let me just have my clock back. Um, we're going to start and relax in a very comfortable Upavishta Konasana. So just really see where you're at. Rotate the inner thighs in. And I will take my arms just shoulder high. So see, if you do have a shoulder injury, you might need to take them a little bit down. If you don't just keep them up and we're gonna move with the breath so it is an inhalation contract and on the exhalation <sighs> curl and we're moving with the breath of fire I will time us for one minute okay we begin to move now You can roll the eyes up completely, surrender, just inhale and exhale. Feel the Uddiyana Bandha and the Mula Bandha squeezing up. 
allowing the energy to travel up, upward through all the chakras. So really moving on your breath. Inhale, hold, and one, two, three, four, five, relax, good. Okay, let's just take a comfortable position, take a comfortable position here, and for the neck tucks, you inhale, up, and gently Jalada Bandha, neck lock. So it's really a gentle movement. Inhale, exhale, one minute. So we like to be very careful moving the neck and make sure you really only do move the neck. The rest of the body is very alert and elongated. Practice the extension of your arms. So you cup your knees and allow your arms to be fairly straight, almost like uh, bamboo sticks. Keep on moving. Breathing in and out. You can roll the eyes up. So this is also a nice way to give your eyes a little bit of a relaxation. Okay, and now hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And breathe out. Good. And we will do the same for the shoulder shrugs. Now here, you can decide either to keep um, in an easy pose or sit. Okay, I'm gonna turn around so you can see. The heels should be straight and pinning into your sitting bones. If this is too difficult and too challenging, you can choose today to tuck under your toes, which is not too bad because we need that flexibility in our toes or if this is not available, you can just sit in between. And then we begin our journey with shoulder shrugs. So same movement here and begin. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Eyes are locked in, relax, relax throughout the body. Fingertips don't need to touch. And keep on breathing. Taking off all that weight from traveling or from working on the desk or from carrying children or from just having a really bad time in your life. So often when we are having a challenge, when we are facing a challenge, what is happening subconsciously, we almost go into a fetus position while standing and sitting. And that really um, causes such bad posture. So now inhale, hold, 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 squeeze, squeeze your mula band. Everything squeezes up, hold, hold, hold your breath, retain, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze a little bit more and whew, exhale. Okay, then we continue here. We do the version of the um, straight arms. So inhale and then see how my elbows just bend a little bit and I get this really nice curve in my lower back. So we want to inhale, exhale. A 
Okay, if this is available for you to go faster, you can speed up on time. Okay, let's begin. Okay, I'll have you have myself sitting here. Let's begin. Eyes roll up and you relax through your face. Inhale forward, exhale back. Sat nam, sat nam, sat nam, sat nam. In, out, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So we awakening the sleeping dormant energy of the Kundalini and it will travel up all the way through your spine and we have 10 seconds left you can go slower if you like now and inhale come forward hold hold and exhale And then you can release here, come to sit again in easy pose or if you're sitting on the chair it's fine and we're just going to move with the upper body. So now we are rounding a little bit more through the upper body. Now look at my arms. I try to keep the arms as straight as somehow uh, possible and we really want to move and travel with and on the breath okay so really remember the eyes are relaxed the face is relaxed let's start inhale exhale inhale sat exhale nam Opening through the fourth and fifth chakra, Anahata, our heart center, and Vishuddha, our command center. So if energy stagnates there, we become bitter, sad, unable to communicate. So by moving this way, we might feel the next day a little bit emotional. And just so you know that this is just be stirring up in our energetical body. So inhale now, hold it, squeeze up Muller Burn, squeeze nicely, relax for the shoulders and exhale. Wonderful. So for the next uh, position, I, I like you to choose what is most comfortable for you. I like this exercise um, depending on my well-being. So you can sit on your heels, you can sit in an easy position, you can sit on a chair, you can sit on a bed, or you can stand up. So if we stand up, just, just lightly bend your knees to make sure that only the upper body is moving. So I will, however, tuck under my toes a little bit for this. So as you can see here, and that helps me to really work with a straight body. And so the alignment nodes here are a 90 degree ankle and really we are opening again through the arc line, through the Anahata, like so. And then taking Gion Mudra. And then we are breathing in left and exhaling to the right side. So holding here, I time us. Lock your eyes in, close your eyes, and we begin to breathe left. Make sure that the 90 degree ankle, elbows, 
stay as high and make sure you're breathing. Eyes are rolled up and your face is relaxed. You might feel heat building up. So every time you're inhaling left, you think sat and nam on the exhalation. So twists helping us to let go of the old and invite the new now. Come back to center, extend your arms, inhale, hold it, squeeze up, squeeze up, squeeze up, squeeze up, hold your breath a little longer, a little longer, feel the changes you make and then swipe through the electromagnetic field and you can just place your palms onto your lap and just take a minute here. And whatever position you are in, maybe just keep the eyes closed and then follow my instruction. So we will bend the thumb and place the thumb beneath the pinky finger and then curl all the hands around. And then you can open your eyes. So sometimes I like to practice really using your sense of uh, hearing, listening, before we open the eyes. Okay, so we will move the arms up and then across like you hug yourself and throw them back again and across so here we are working with the breath of fire and really going to breathe lightly and moving through the electromagnetic field really pushing everything out and away so breathe Inhale, take the arms up, hold your breath, squeeze, 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 so squeeze the root chakra, Mulat Bandha. Hold it, squeeze the belly button in, hold your breath, and exhale out. So again, no matter in what position you are, you're just going to move in a very easy um, breathing position. Inhale to your left. Exhale to your right. Just follow here. Stretching out the body. Inhaling such. Exhaling now. So we really worked on stimulating the energetic body through the pranayama. Practice and really releasing through all the exercises, the upper body. Breathe deeply in to your left, sat and exhale now.
and keep on moving. Good. Play a bit more. And come back to center. And we're going to stretch out the legs just for a minute, following a Shavasana. Okay, let me put on the timer. So we will move in alternate leg lifts for one minute and then go into a deep Shavasana for 11 minutes. Okay, so beginning, make sure relax, remove your gummy band in your hair if you have one and then just fold O shape now. Arms by your side, begin your straight legs. So don't worry about getting up all the way 90 degrees. So you don't need to get up here. Just make sure to create an opposition. And then really feel that opposition working. So the crown of your head goes to one side and your tippy toes extending to the opposite side. And then keep breathing. It's just a minute to get you ready for Shavasana, your deep relaxation. Okay, and then let's Set our body ready to relax. So we begin by consciously placing the back of our heads on the floor, making sure that the neck is not too wide open and also not locked. So you want to have a neutral leg. And then we begin here to roll the eyes up and in and consciously to relax the space between your eyebrows and the temples. And then following the tip of the nose, make sure that you get a sensation that you are right in center line. So your belly button and your nose should be in center line, connected to each other. And then relax your teeth and the lips. So you can use your tongue and just moist your, your lips a little bit. And then allow the tongue to become very, very heavy. Relax through the ears, all the fifth chakra, cervical spine and your throat. And then let's lift one more time the shoulders up, around and allow the shoulder blades to come nice and firm on to the ground. And that results in having to lift the pelvic floor and the hips and the tailbone and see where you can wiggle around and find all kinks and then you allow your arms to slightly roll out so the thumbs almost pointing out and then curl your fingers full of relaxation and now you already get um, that nice loose lower body um, in the Kundalini Yoga practice, we do um, strive for breaking the heels more close to it another. But if this is not available, you can just contract your leg one time, let it extend, contract the other leg and let them point out. Just be very relaxed and consciously don't hold tension. So be aware of the places that feel uncomfortable for you. And then take a deep breath in. You can side out through an O-shaped mouth and become very, very, very happy. Relax the toes, relax the shin. So if you are in a cold climate, always make sure that you're entering with socks on, sweater on, and have blankets nearby.
and really notice the spaces that are tight. You might lift your head once more, wiggle through your knees, wiggle your arms, anything that feels it needs a little bit of adjustment, just go ahead. Let's begin 
to come back to awareness, coming back to waking consciousness, start to wiggle your fingertips and toes. And then bring movement to your wrist. And to your ankles. And then interlacing your fingers, hug your, your ears with your arms if you can. And really create this opposition again. Really stretch through the extended arms and stretch through the tippy toes. Inhale deeply and then as you exhale draw your right knee towards you. Concluding set. Inhale here and then exhale. Roll over into a cat stretch to your left. You can look over your right shoulder. And then inhale, come back, come back to center line. Do the same again, extend, breathe. Exhale, bring your left knee toward your chest. And then inhale and exhale to your right. And then come back to center. And then you can open your eyes and just bring yourself back. Inhale deeply. And then we do a few spinal flex. So if you feel you need more than a few, you can go ahead, pause the video and do a minute of spinal flex. But that's really not necessary. And then inhaling. Come back. So here is the point where you in your personal practice can just sit with any mantra, mudra, any sound or gesture, hand gesture and meditate. I will tune us out and if you feel you want to sit after the tune out you can do as well. Meditation is the art of practicing concentration. So if you just sit and keep that silence within for a few more minutes, anything, there is our alarm. Anything will serve you. So inhale, take your arms up, touch your palms, and bring them down to your heart center. Gently bow your neck forward. Inhale once, exhale. And I'm tuning us out with three long satnams. So. Satnam.